Art has been the way that we record and reflect upon our past in order that we affirm who we are as a, as a species, as a race, as a culture, as a civilization. I believe the same thing is going on to this day, which makes it relative to our smaller communities, say in an urban environment such as Chicago, the idea that we can use art to affirm who we are culturally or geographically within the city and in particular referring to the youth sort of looking for a, a direction or an identity. I attended a Rasco in 7th and 8th grade. I had the privilege to have Mr. Mendoza as an art teacher in 8th grade of 2005. I remember a lot of memories from him. One of the best ones, just walking into his classroom and feeling welcome, different atmosphere. And he taught us art, but you also taught yourself. And I remember me asking Mr. Mendoza a lot of questions, and he would just, you know, come back with you with the same questions like what do you think which was pretty awesome I've had a couple of art teachers who basically would just teach the class and that would be it but Mr. Mendoza was something different something that I just know where to describe the atmosphere the way you talk and the way you felt around your other classmates it was one just free I met Mendoza at Orozco in 2003 we were art teachers together we shared a room together met him first in the teacher's lounge. He came up to me and introduced himself. And from that point on, we were really good friends. He was a really good teacher. He was very funny. The students loved him. He always used his humor to engage the students and, and to pull them in. And he often told jokes and stories. And he was really laid back and the students loved him. Mendoza I met uh, at the cafe when he first came in as a customer. Yep, just one day strolled in and introduced himself. Uh, and right away I knew who he was just by hearing about his work in the neighborhood. And uh, right away just said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm Francisco Mendoza. And I said, oh yeah, I know who you are. You're well known around here. As a friend, he was incredible. Um, out of the time I bet he called me his primo. And, uh, I don't know why, but he just did. And I became his primo. And I always became, hey primo, hey primo. And that, that's how we, we we carried ourselves. I would go to his house, hang out, uh, watch him work, uh, help him move, move a few things a few times. Uh, went to South Chicago where he was from a few times out there. And it was interesting because you go out there and he's known as Mickey. As far as I remember going to visit uh, my uncle Mickey as I know him as Uncle Mickey and my grandma, I'd walk into their house and paintings everywhere, drawings everywhere. And um, for, for our pastime there where, where he wanted to spend time with us, he would take us down, me and my brother, down to the basement and have us draw, and which was fun, which was cool. So ever since I was little, he was into it and, and pushed, not pushed it, but brought it onto us. But there was so, so many different things to learn. It was the drawing, regular drawing. He taught me uh, about chalks. He, he bought me a chalk box. Um, growing up with him, uh, art was his life. And he took it to work and home like a priest would uh, religion. So, so that was his whole life. He would paint people that he loved, people that inspired him. Um, he did self-portraits of himself. And, just I, I can't picture him without um, a paintbrush in his hands. So that
Edgar Poe was incredible. He was everybody's teacher. Uh, he was everybody's friend. He, he knew every kid in the neighborhood and their parents and so on from there. He, he taught everybody. You know, if if he didn't teach your kids, he taught you. You know, if somebody in some line of a family was his student at one time. But he was extremely well liked. The importance of the art in Pilsen community that Francisco directed and worked with his students and his apprentices was it gave ownership to the people that lived in the community. It it was a way of asserting culture, uh, respect, and an understanding that while the city itself is not something you can always own, the neighborhood and, and a familiarity of making relationships to one's own backgrounds, one's own uh, present culture as well as past culture is uh, asserting a certain sense of self. He did everything for the kids. He, he kept in my eyes, he kept a lot of kids off the streets. They loved doing the projects with them, all the different murals, the types of murals. Um, he just did every, everything for the kids. They really, they really saw him as more than a teacher. Um, but he would take his days after school, his days off, just to do these projects with the children. I stopped the class and was laughing half of the time. It's pretty awesome having a teacher who makes you laugh and makes you forget of the long days in class. Uh, as a child, I remember my older brother would always talk about him to my mother, how generous of a person he was. He always gave money to students when he needed money. It was the last dollar in his pocket. He wouldn't care if it was his lunch money. He wouldn't care as long as students were happy and smiling. He was happy. It was pretty awesome that a teacher so doesn't mind helping a child out. Something awesome. One teacher. Dia 12 de marzo, año de dolor.